Okay, shall we start? Can, um, yes, let's Elena. <laughs> can I ask everyone to uh, mute your mic if you can throughout the show so that everybody could hear. Um, okay, let's just start. Good morning, everyone. My name is Elena. I'm your I'm a thermomics advisor as well as a team manager. Welcome to our cooking show today. We have a lot of exciting dishes and drinks to show you. So before I start, can you just let me know if this is your first time joining our uh, cooking show? If it is, then type one. If you are an existing Thermomix customer, do type two so that we can get an indication uh, whether you are new or you are an existing user. Okay, a lot of ones here. Okay, so this is your first time. Welcome. It's going to be an exciting show. Uh, if you have any questions, do just type it in the chat room and, and all our Thermomix advisors will be able to answer that. Okay, so before I go into detail about Thermomix, I'm just going to start my recipe first so that in between I can just go through all uh, the different information that I want to share with you. Okay, so today I'm going to make a uh, very um, hearty chicken soup. We call it Hug in the Mug. So I'm telling you now that this will be my first time making this recipe. So I've looked through Cookie Do, our online recipe portal, and it, uh, and it says that there's 430 ratings, giving it a good rating. So I'm excited to try this. So this is my first time doing it. It, it works, that it means that all of you can try it too, okay? So what I've done is I've saved the recipe on my phone and it should be synced to my Thermomix machine. So how do I access it? So if you could see from the screen here, I can either search straight through my uh, machine, but I've saved it. Uh, so I just press these three bars up here under my recipes, created collections. And I have so many folders here. Uh, I know you can't really see properly, but uh, just imagine. <laughs> okay, so I have a folder down here called Zoom Demo. And I'm just going to click on it and I have recipes here and that's hug in the mug, okay? So why I chose this recipe is because now it's vaccine season and a lot of you have uh, uh, gotten fever from your AZ jab, including my husband. So uh, this is a very hearty and comfort, uh, comfy food that you can serve to your relatives when, uh, when they're down with fever because of the jab, okay? All right, so we're just going to start. If you look at the screen, if I scroll down, I could see the overview of the ingredients as well as the recipes, okay? So I'm just going to start now. I, I press start cooking. And it says, put two sprigs fresh flat leaf parsley, leaves only, okay? So I just follow whatever it says on the screen. So I have it here, the end. And then I press next. One carrot cut into pieces. Carrot. Next. One stalk of celery cut into pieces as well. Celery. Press next. 100 grams of fresh brown mushrooms cut into pieces. Here, I have it here. So I've used my Thermomix to weigh this initially. So now I just plonk everything in. Okay, next, 150 grams of brown onion cut into quarters. Okay. Next, insert the cover. Press next. Okay, for five seconds, okay, everything is preset here. Five seconds and it's telling me to turn speed to speed six. So I just turn the speed to speed six. And it's going to chop everything. <laughs> Okay, press next. Okay, let me just show you what happened in just five seconds. Okay, remember all those ingredients? All chopped up. Okay, in just five seconds. I'm just going to scrape everything down. Again, this is my first time doing this, yeah? Okay. 
okay. Press next. 50 grams of salted butter cut into pieces here. Okay. And then next, put the cover back. Press next. For five minutes, turn speed to speed two. So everything again, at five minutes, 120 degrees. So it's going to saute um, at speed two. Okay. All right. So after this, uh, we should have about maybe one or two steps left. It's a very simple recipe from what I've read. Okay. Meanwhile, let me talk to you a little bit more about thermomics. Okay. All right. So I started this journey with thermomics about a year, a year plus ago, about a year, two months or so. So I was a user. Um, I attend, um, well, I didn't attend the demo. I just bought, uh, but uh, yeah, I was a user first. Love it so much. And in a couple of weeks, I signed up as an advisor because I wanted to learn a lot more about thermomics, okay? So if you're interested to learn more about thermomics uh, and become an advisor, do reach out to the person who invited you today as well, okay? Right. So when it comes to cooking, let me ask you, what is important to you when it comes to cooking? Does it have to be easy? Does it have to be time-saving? Uh, does it have to be healthy um, or creative? Which one is more important to you? Let me know by chat, uh, by typing in the chat room. Time saving and healthy. Okay. Time saving. So a lot of time saving. Okay. So throughout this cooking show, we will show you that the moments can actually address all of this uh, important importance to you. Okay. So um, so I'm excited to show you what we can do today. All right. Okay. So Thermomix is a German quality product. Um, and we imported it from Europe, directly from Europe to here. And it's, uh, it was uh, invented by a company called Bovec, a, a, a family company. And it has existed for about 135 years since the 1800s. Okay. So uh, Bowet is available in 80 countries, including Malaysia, and the Momix itself has won numerous design awards, as you can see from uh, the quick chart here. Okay. And if you could see from the timeline, this is not, uh, uh, the Momix has, has been around for years, for decades. Okay. So it started in the 1960s. And in Malaysia, we started uh, getting the TM31 back in the 2000s, okay? So TM6, the latest one, is a Wi-Fi uh, enabled, and it came in in Malaysia in 2019, okay? So it has been around for quite a while. And a fun fact is that every, one, every 23 seconds, one Thermomix is being sold around the world. Okay, that's how popular Thermomix is. And it is because it's your all-in-one super kitchen machine, okay? So it's everything in one, and we will show that to you today. All right, so now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the accessories when it comes to Thermomix and what you will get with your set, okay? So here I have another Thermomix, okay? So out here is what we call the Varuma dish and Varuma tray. So Varuma is Thermomix, um, work for steaming, okay? So you have two levels here. We have the Varuma dish and the Varuma tray. So you can choose to use the Varuma tray together or not. So if you use the Varuma dish only, it can actually fit one whole chicken in it, okay? So this, the way you use your Varuma tray and your Varuma dish is, you just put it on top of your Thermomix like that, okay? So it will steam. And you can do it together while cooking um, something else in the mixing pot itself, okay? And then this is the cover. Uh, and inside I have the simmering basket. The simmering basket is where I cook rice, 
I can put pasta in there and I can use it as a strainer as well when I make juice, okay? So when you cook rice, you can actually have low GI rice, which is very healthy. Uh, when you cook rice inside, you just put water in the mixing bowl and all the starch from the rice will actually fall. So you can see that the water is murky white. Um, what we, uh, the Malays call it kanji. So you're actually eating um, healthy rice. And like I mentioned just now, it can be used as a strainer as well. So when you make lemonade or asam uh, lima pasri asam boy, you just plump all the lemon inside, uh, the, the lima inside without cutting, and you can just use it as a strainer. Okay? All right. Let's just go with the next step first because it's ready. Okay, now it says to put 500 grams of chicken breast fillet cut into pieces. Okay, look at that, it's very hot. Okay, so now I have chicken pieces here. I'm just going to put it in. Press next, 50 grams of plain flour. Yeah. And two pinches of black pepper. Next. Now it says to put back the cover for one minute at 90 degrees. It's asking me to turn the speed to speed two. Okay, so we have one minute here. And just now I mentioned about cooking rice or pasta inside your simmering basket. When it's hot, you can actually use the spatula that comes with the thermomix set as well. There's a hook here and use it to take it out like that. Okay, and this spatula is specially designed, as you could see, it has this ring here. So it won't, uh, it won't roll over when you put it on the counter and it won't touch the counter top as well, so it's very hygienic. See here, see? So it doesn't touch the counter top, okay? So it's very, very good. And when it comes to the mixing bowl itself, it's, it has 2.2 liter capacity, so it's quite large. Uh, can, a typical recipe, you can uh, serve four to six portion, if you look at cookie do, and there's an indicator of one liter, two liters, and 2.2 liters, okay? So, all right, and then you have uh, the blade itself in there and the blade has the sharp side and the blunt side. So you wonder if you want to just stir, um, uh, when, when you want to just stir, when you cook, it actually use the reverse mode and it is uh, uh, turning using the blunt side, okay? So it won't chop your fish or your chicken if you don't want it to, okay? So that's your mixing bowl. Before we continue, just let's continue with the recipe first. And now it says to put one tablespoon of chicken stock, okay? So I've made my own chicken stock using um, Thermomix as well, because this is very healthy, without MSG, without preservatives. Um, so making chicken stock is very, very easy with Thermomix, so do, do that, okay? So just one tablespoon, let's just use two teaspoons instead. Okay. Press next. And then insert the lid again. Press next for 15 minutes at 100 degrees. Uh, turn speed to speed one. Okay, let's continue. So I've talked about the bowl. And then now, I'm going to talk about the butterfly whisk, which comes with your set as well. So these we use to stir. If you want to make kaya, whipped cream, you use this, okay? So you just put it on the blade like that, okay? It's very easy, okay? So that's your butterfly whisk. And then I put the lid back on. I have the measuring cup. So the measuring cup 
literally that's what it says. There's a 50 mil indicator and 100 mil indicator. You can use it to put uh, cream or uh, water whenever you need to and pour it inside. So usually when we cook, this is always attached to the cover like that. Okay. And we also have splash guard that comes with your set. So this we use when we do high temperature cooking. And that needs to be done through cookie dough. So cookie dough will tell you when to use your splash guard. You just put it on your cover like that. Okay. It is to prevent splattering. All right. So when we talk about multi-layer cooking, how you can actually save time with the Momix is, okay, um, you can use your simmering basket together with your mixing bowl when you cook, and then you put your cover on, and you put your baroma tray on top. So when you cook things like nasi ayam or curry laksa, for example, curry laksa, you can cook the, um, the curry in the bowl, and then in the simmering basket, we put um, the eggs inside to steep, and then we put chicken um, or fish fillet the, at the bottom part of Baruma, and top part we can put the vegetables like bok choy. So you do everything all at once and you save time. You can just walk away and let the thermomix cook for you. So that's how you save time using your thermomix, okay? Um, okay. So when it comes to Thermomix, uh, there are three ways of owning your Thermomix, okay? So first part is uh, by full payment, but if you look at the chart here, it's 7,188. Right now we have a special promotion, which is 200 ringgit discount. So the price is 6,988. But we have various uh, installment plans, but if you want to purchase uh, using full payment, you can actually uh, get yourself a free cookbook. You can choose one out of three cookbooks, okay? And we can, we also have various interest-free installment plans using credit card and debit card. But if you want to use debit card, you would have to put in deposit of 2,988 ringgit first and 4,000 will be converted into installment plan, okay? So do talk to your advisors to learn more about our payment plans, okay? And this is what is so special about Thermomix. With Thermomix, Hello. you have more than 20 uh, functions in Thermomix. So it can steam, it can grind, it can become your blender, your kettle. When you use kettle, the normal kettle, you can only warm it up to um, uh, 100 degrees. But with our kettle mode, you can warm it up to uh, 70 degrees, 90 degrees, which is perfect for your tea and your coffee, okay? So we have fermentation mode, sous vide mode, we have, uh, 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 we have kneading mode as well. So all of these replace all other machines that you have. You can get rid of your bulky steamer machine, get rid of your kettle, uh, get rid of your sous vide machine. So everything is in one. And the beauty about the moments is that it gets better and better, okay? So when you do software updates, updates there are more um, there are more functions that are being added to your thermomix. So you're actually getting more and more throughout the years. Okay, so that is the function of thermomix. Uh, while waiting for um, uh, my my soup to finish, uh, I'm going to pass the screen to uh, Ezri to make cookies after this. Up to you, Ezri. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Okay, my name is Ezrin. Good morning. Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, so today I'll be making cookies. Okay, this recipe is uh, in Cookie Do. Okay, so Cookie Do is our recipe platform. Right now we have 71,000 recipes for you to choose from. Okay, so you can access from your Thermomix, you can access from your phone or your iPad or even your laptop. Okay, so whatever that you save in your Cookie Do, once you on your Thermomix and you have Wi-Fi, it will sync all the collections or recipes that you have saved on your phone. Okay, so same thing, you can also um, plan your weekly or monthly meal. Okay, so like today, I've already planned to cook, to make these cookies today. So I go into my week and then I can see it here. Okay, so soft and chewy white chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so I've tried this before. This is really, really, really good. 
this is just like or even better like um our sandwich famous sandwich um um uh, shop okay if you know all right so just click on it and then okay every recipe on cookie do you can scroll down and you can see the ingredients you can see the preparation you can see the prep time the total time and even serving size so it says here is for 12 pieces okay so if you are cooking something else it will tell you maybe four to five packs or five to six packs okay so every recipe will tell you for how many portions okay and you can, if you care about nutrition calories and all you even can find the carbs the fat all this information in the recipe okay and it says here under tips okay try adding 50 to 80 grams of macadamia nuts or hazelnuts in step three okay for a white chocolate and nut cookie okay so you know that you can actually adjust and have your nutty cookie okay so just press start cooking and then it will tell you everything from A to Z, okay? So even like preheat your oven, it will tell you. So I've done that at 170 degrees. And then just press next, and then grease two baking trays and set aside. So I'm not gonna grease my tray, I'm just gonna use our really awesome thermomat here, okay, as my base instead of a baking sheet. So this can go into the oven up to 240 degrees. Okay, so it's so versatile and very high quality the moment. Okay, and then you go next. So now we need to add in 120 grams of diced unsalted butter. Okay, and the good thing about Thermomix is we have a built-in scale. All right, so you see here, if it changes, just press the tear button, it'll go to zero and you can wait as you go. So you save a lot of time. If I'm not doing this like this, I will just take the butter from the fridge and then I just wait as I go. Okay, so just add everything in. I just took this out from the fridge so you can use cold, cold butter, it's fine. Okay, and then we need to add 100 grams of custard sugar. So you, whenever you press next, the scale will just um, zero rise itself. Okay, so you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to press there if you're going to the next step. Okay, and then go next, and you go uh, 80 grams of light brown sugar. So you can use, for light brown sugar, if you want, you can use raw cane sugar, and you can even adjust the amount. But if you want to adjust the sugar, start with 10% first. Okay, because sometimes it might not make the recipe work. So I've already reduced maybe like 5 grams, so I like everything like sweet and nice. Okay, so I just reduce a little bit. Okay, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so I have here. So even vanilla extract, you can make your own. Okay, if you search in cookie do, you can search on how to do vanilla sugar. You can do your own vanilla extract, vanilla bean paste. Okay, that's the beauty about Thermomix. You can make everything from scratch and that's what they encourage you to do. Okay, so start slow. I usually recommend everyone trying the chicken stock paste like the one Elena used. Okay, that's a really good recipe to start with. Okay, and then one medium egg. Okay. So if it tells you, um, if it doesn't tell you what size the egg is, it's always large. Okay, but for this recipe, it tells you to use medium egg. Okay, 250 grams of plain flour or all purpose. Okay, so I'm using organic plain flour here. And one teaspoon of a baking soda and pinch of sea salt, okay, so I'll yeah. So I added a little bit more salt, not just a pinch, I used actually a half, tea, half teaspoon of salt because I'm using Himalaya, okay. And insert the measuring cup means <coughs> make sure this is closed, this is called the measuring cup, okay, so just make sure it's closed. And then, okay, so with cookie dough recipe, it will set the time for you, temperature if there's any, and it tells you to turn speed selector to speed five. Okay, so just turn until you get on the part.
Okay, so when you hear the sound means it's ready. So you can either press this tap on the screen or press next. So I'll just show you after 30 seconds of mixing. This is what you get. All right, so now we need to add in the 150 grams of chocolate chips. Okay, white chocolate chips. So you can actually reduce the sugar slightly because the chocolate chip is actually very sweet. Okay, and then just press next. And this is the last step. Okay, it's going to mix another time and it's ready. Okay, so 20 seconds, speed three. Okay, and our batter is ready. So easy, right? So you can do this with your kids. You know, if you have kids, you can do this together as your bonding time. Okay, so this is the dough that you get. It's so easy. Just 30 seconds plus 20 seconds of mixing. Okay, so now it says shape into small round approximately four centimeters and place onto grease baking tray five centimeters apart to allow room for them to spread. Okay. And then we are going to bake for 10 to 12 minutes at 170 degrees when it's um, until golden and still slightly soft. Okay, so this cookie is uh, crunchy on the outside, but inside it's soft. It's really, really nice. Okay, so you have to try this. So I'm just gonna use my hand and just make small round circles. Okay, so you don't have to use a spoon. You can just use your hand and just... So I can get around uh, 16 here, and then I have another baking tray because I like to make it slightly small. So I can share with my really close neighbors here, okay, that I can share with. So I'll just share with them. All right, so if you like baking, like me, I used, I mean, before the moment, I like the thought of baking, but I never really used to bake because I find it so much fun. Lah. You have to take out your, big mixer and then you have to wash so many things you have to weigh okay so my mixer was always in the cabinet and when I take out once you know I'll do it once and then I'll keep it because it's so bulky and then I won't yeah I won't I won't bake anything because it's, it's not you know I don't see the mixer in front of me okay but with Thermomix it's always on your kitchen counter so you want to bake you want to make you want to make so many things you want to cook every day it motivates you to to do all these things, okay? So it's really wonderful. So if you like to bake bread, okay, a lot of people bake their first bread when they get their thermomix, even myself, okay? And it will jadi, okay? You will see everywhere people posting, you know, they make bread even from the first MCO, you know, when bread went out of stock. So you have to make your own bread. It's so simple and it's all guided like this. Or you can even try recipes that are manual way of cooking, which is also easy. You just need to know the three uh, circles and the kneading function, okay? And you can try and you can make, other than that, you can make bread, you can make your own pasta, you can make your own pizza dough. Okay, I make pizza with my son every single week because he loves eating pizza because he thinks he, he makes it. So, you know, I'll just make the pizza base and then he'll put whatever that he likes on the pizza. And it takes like two minutes to knead the dough. Okay, very fast. So you can, if you're rushing and you don't have time, you just need to have that two minutes to knead the dough. Okay. So other than that, you can also make fish balls, okay, your own meat balls, because the ones, the ones that you get in the supermarket, you don't know how, how clean they are. Because they, the machine, you don't know whether they wash it, okay, and you don't know which part of the meat that they use. So you can buy your own good quality meat, and you can, you know, um, just make your mince meat using the machine. It's very fast. You just have to um, blend for like 10 seconds while the meat is partially frozen and you get your mince meat. Okay, so it's something like that. Okay, I'll show you. All right. And I'm just going to bake this for around 10 to 12 minutes. And then uh, I'll see you later. Okay, with the results. Now I'll pass to Sunita. Thank you. See you later.
Good morning, everyone. Hope you can hear me loud and clear. Okay. So today we're going to be making a coffee frappuccino. Okay. So how many of you love your frappuccinos from Starbucks or any other cafes? Type one in the chat box. I'm also one of them, guilty as charged. So how much do you pay for your frappuccino from Starbucks? I just Googled it online. It's between 16 to 19 ringgit, depending on the size, either grande or venti, right? From Starbucks. So wouldn't it be great to be able to do it at home? just with your thermomix. Okay, so this is a recipe that is also on cookie dough. So I just have to click on um, my week, which I have saved the recipe into, and it's called frappe cappuccino. The recipe is not in English, all right? So what you would need to do is actually um, Google the recipe using Google Chrome on your phone. And Chrome has a built-in translation feature, so you can actually translate it to English and save it to your TM6. But do be reminded that on your TM6, the recipe will still remain in the original language. So you will still need to refer to your phone or your tablet for the translation, okay? So I'm just gonna go as, um, Alina mentioned, you can actually scroll down and look at the ingredients, etc. So I'm just going to go start cooking. And it says 65 grams of sugar. Okay, so Thermomix has a built-in weighing scale and you can just press tab to go back to zero. So I'm just going to put in the 65 grams of sugar. All right. And then next. Okay, it says one heaped tablespoon of coffee. I'm actually using Nescafe Gold today. And a quick tip, these covers that normally come with your coffees, they are not completely airtight. So if you don't use your instant coffee very often, it does tend to go hard inside the bottle. So cover it with cling wrap. Okay, and then put the cover on and that will keep your coffee fresh and the granules loose the entire time. So it says one heaped tablespoon. So that means like really full, okay? One heaped tablespoon. So that's gonna go in. And then next, it says insert measuring cup. So even if you can't read the language, you can look at the picture and it says to put the measuring cup back on. Two minutes, speed 10. So this is now going to blitz your sugar. Sorry, 20 seconds, speed 10. It's going to blitz your sugar and your coffee for 20 seconds. I'm just going to turn it all the way to speed 10. <laughs> like a little bit of, not smoke, but the sugar that's already been brown in the coffee. It's been coming up. So that's how powerful, that's how powerful the motto is in just 20 seconds. And you hear that lovely sound when it's done to tell you that it's done. So I just go next. So it shows you to scrape everything down. So get all the sugar and the coffee off down into your bowl. And I will show you how it looks. It's a completely fine powder completely blitzed into a fine powder. Okay, so that's just 20 seconds on speed 10. And then next, 
160 grams of, okay, hold on, let me see if this ice, okay, cubed ice. So I pre weighed the ice. And then next, put the lid back on. Next, again, 20 seconds, speed seven. So it's going to crush the ice and mix it in with your sugar and coffee. Almost done. Four, three, two, one. Again, that lovely sound. See, the ice has been crushed. That's really fine. Okay, we go next. So push everything down again, all the ice. And then next, 360 grams of fresh milk. And next, again, put the lid back on. One minute, speed. Hold on, did you tell me? To, okay, one minute, speed. So if I'm not sure, I can actually look at the recipe detail. Just click on the three buttons and go to recipe detail and see what it says. Okay, so it's gonna do one minute, Speed seven right now. So go back to the recipe. Speed 3.5, sorry. Okay. So now it's just mixing the milk and the ice and the coffee. Okay, so you can also do like your lemonades, your fresh juices using either the turbo mode or speed 10. It makes amazing smoothies. You can even crush ice. So if you just want to make your ABC at home or your ice kapal, just put in your ice and set it for 15 seconds on speed 10 and you've got beautifully crushed ice. Even make your own chendol at home if you want, okay? So now it's mixing the coffee, sugar, ice and milk. And just now, Alina showed you the butterfly whisk. We are now going to use the butterfly whisk in the next step. Okay. So again, that lovely sound when it finishes. Just go next. And now it says insert butterfly whisk. So you can see the picture will show you. So even if you don't understand the language, you can actually just put it in. Most important thing to remember with the butterfly whisk is it has four sections. Anytime you use the butterfly whisk in your thermal mix, the maximum speed is speed four, okay? Do not go over speed four, okay? So, 30 seconds. Three and a half. And then now we remove the butterfly whisk 
and you've got a beautifully frothy, really gorgeous looking frappuccino, which I'm going to pour out and you can see how lovely it is. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, milky goodness, right? So if you ever have a hot day and need a cool frappuccino, make one at home yourself. I'm just going to take a sip of this one. Oh, yum. It is so good. Okay, cheers everyone. I'm gonna hand you over to Ayu to show you the next recipe. All right. Salam and hi everyone. I'm Ayu, one of the thermometer advisor, as well as a user. Um, I've been using it for one year and I really, really love the thermomics. Now, this is going to be one of the main reasons why I love it. I'm going to show you how fast it is to cook a chicken dish. Um, I understand, you know, most of us are now working from home. We're staying home. So we're probably, you know, rushing in between. But at the same time, you want to give your children the best, um, you know, food besides fast food. So what I have here is um, we're going to make honey barbecue chicken. And I had to marinate it. So I'm just going to go to start cooking. So what it does is it actually asks you to place a bowl on the uh, lid itself. So for example, if you are starting, this is how you're going to do it. You're just going to basically take the bowl, place it on top. You can put your chicken in the bowl and then put whatever that is required for the marination. Okay, so I've already done the marinating part. I will let you know what needs to be marinated. Okay, so basically we need to put in the chicken and then um, a little bit of light soy sauce. I did um, oyster sauce, dark soy sauce, all the sauces that you can think of, brown sugar, honey. All this all needs to go into, um, you can, like for me, I like to use the, Ziploc bag, but you can always do it in the bowl, it's fine. And then we're just going to put a little bit of pepper to season, mix it, refrigerate for half an hour, and then you will have your marinated chicken already. So, this is my marinated chicken. So, I'm going to put the whole entire chicken in here. So, that's the great thing, like I said about thermal mix, you can straight away add in your meat, whatever that you want to cook in the bowl itself. It is amazing. All right, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the cover because it asked me to place the cover. So I'm going to place the cover on top with the measuring cup. And for the next uh, 15 minutes, it's going to be cooking. So during this 15 minutes, what you can do is basically, let's just say if you are working, you could have um. You know, come back, go and have a shower, leave this, have a quick shower, come back, your chicken is going to be done. Or for example, like if you are um, in busy in a Zoom meeting or you have to keep an eye on your children while they are doing their online studies, you can always place this in, attend to them. When it's ready, it's going to call you. So just a quick um, survey from the audience that are watching today. So normally, what are the cooking oils that you use when you cook with Thermomix. If you see, I actually did not put any cooking oil. There's no cooking oil in it. The only oil that I did put was um, sesame oil, which was marinated, and that's it. So right now, there is absolutely no oil. So it is so healthy in that sense. Now, with Thermomix, you can actually do low temperature and high temperature cooking. So low temperature, basically, when you cook it, it ensures the retention of the nutrition, which means your kitchen is harmful from cooking fumes and the nutrients that you have from either the veggie or the meat is still there because it's not overcooked, okay? But besides that, we also have high temperature um, cooking and caramelization. So for example, um, if you, during this 
I won't say holiday, but during this lockdown, if you want to make um, lollipops, you can make lollipops, you can make salted caramel to go with that lovely popcorn. We have an auto set function, which does um, sugar stages. And besides that, you can also put your brown, your meat in here, which is also an auto set feature in the cookie dough recipe. So what oil do you normally use? I know some of you use olive oil, you use you know, sunflower seed oil and things like that. But did you know that if you do not use the right oil and when you cook it at the wrong temperature, it is very toxic for your body. So for example, when you cook it on the stove, um, it's impossible to know the temperature of the fire, correct? I mean, you're not gonna sit there and measure the stove flame. So what happens is indirectly, you may be overcooking the oil, which is not good for our body, but we fail to realize it. So that's why it's very important for you to cook at the right temperature. Now, normally when we cook our veggies, how do you cook your veggies? Do you boil it? Do you steam it? Let me know in the comment as well. I'm very curious to know how some of you cook your veggies. Because previously, last time when I used to cook my veggies, uh, I would either like, because I never cook, so I normally would like either boil it or, you know, there's the freezer, ready-made veggies, you know, just freeze, thaw, that's it, and give my children to eat. However, now with the Thermomix, it is so much easier for me to make sure I give them the good nutrients that they have. So like making broccoli and carrots, it is so easy. You can do it in hardly seven minutes, which is amazing because you don't have to stand there and saute the barley. You don't have to stand there and keep mixing the veggies during that seven minutes. Seven minutes, trust me, you can actually do a lot. I have time myself. I I could like, you know, clean my kitchen, um, rearrange all my spices. I could actually keep an eye on my daughter, making sure that she's paying attention during class. I could also be watering the plants. So there's so many things that you can do, um, which will save you a lot of time. And um, besides that as well, if you see um, on the panel here, I think it's a little bit too bright. We have three touch, uh, we have three panels here. So the one on the far right, it will show you the time, how long it takes for you to cook. Okay, the one in the middle basically shows you the temperature. So if you see here, the temperature that you can go is maximum 120, and then it goes to Varoma. Varoma is basically the temperature which I'm using right now. And at the side here, you can see the other dial that is basically to use for the speed. So whenever you cook, like for example, now I'm cooking my chicken, you have to make sure that you press the blade so that it goes on reverse. If not, you're going to have minced chicken instead of proper chicken. <laughs> okay, and then the maximum speed is actually until speed 10. So if you want a stronger speed, that's when you go to the turbo mode. All right. So I really, really love um, the cookie dough, like how Elena explained earlier and all my other partners explained earlier, because for someone like me who has never cooked before, the whole recipe is in here. Like I would have never, I never knew it was this easy to make honey barbecue chicken. I always thought, you know, oh, we have to do so many things. It's so a hassle. Right now, I have nothing to clean. You can see my whole, this is not even my kitchen. I'm in my living room and I'm cooking. And I don't have to worry about oil splatter. I don't have to worry about cleaning up. Cleaning up itself, it saves you five minutes. And you know, the process of basically chopping your garlic saves you another couple of minutes. So you save a lot of time when you cook with the Thermomix. So with the Thermomix, you are rest assured that you'll get perfect temperature control. So what does perfect temperature control means? For example, if you want to uh, dissolve yeast, like just now earlier, um, as Jean was baking. For me, I did not know that, you know, the perfect temperature was, what's the perfect temperature? Because you, you may be in an air-conditioned room that's not a perfect temperature for the yeast to be activated. So for the yeast to be activated, it's actually 37 degrees, and you can get it in the thermomix itself because the, everything is so precise. The temperature is very, very accurate. And besides that, also to warm your baby food, um, it's around 37 to 40 degrees. That's why you see sometimes some of the moms, they test the baby milk on the 
on their hand to make sure that the babies do not burn themselves. So even when you're cooking like puree food and things like that, you don't have to worry uh, whether you're going to burn your baby's mouth or not. Next, melting chocolate. Now I have failed many, 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 many times before this. It's either not melted properly or it's over melted because you do the double boiling method. Now with the thermomix at 50 degrees, that's the perfect temperature to boil, uh, sorry, to melt your chocolate. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. So to dissolve the gelatin is at 60 degrees. And um, to cook heat sensitive food, like for example, sauce, it will be around 70 to 80. Because what happens is sometimes if it's too, um, too high the temperature, your sauce tends to dry up easily. Now, I'm sure that in the audience, we have some coffee lovers, some tea lovers. I'm a tea lover. Now, the perfect temperature to brew tea can also be selected from the thermomix itself. Because um, as you know, coffee and tea, it's best when you brew it at the right temperature, which is between 80 to 90 degrees. That's when you can really taste the flavor of it. If not, you know, it's no point for you buying nice coffees, but you cannot taste it. And um, kaya, kaya is so easy now to make. Once, you know, you had to like, take so long to make, now it's so fast and the temperature of it is precise, which is 90 degrees, so you don't have to worry. And besides that, we also can saute. So like basically what I'm doing now is more or less uh, sorting because I'm mixing the chicken with the sauce and the marinade. So it is so easy. Like, like I said, I just put the chicken in there, marinate. You can even marinate it in the morning and add it for lunch or dinner, whenever it's from the end. And then to brown your meat is at 160 and to do caramelizing is at 170. That's the perfect temperature which is already in there. Okay. So now, for the perfect texture, you will always get a perfect texture every time when you cook um, with thermomix. The soup that you taste is very full and flavor in uh, the rich flavor. All right, so besides that, like I said, getting the right temperature. So basically, with the thermomix, it's a smart at heart um, a kitchen appliance. So whereby we have the kettle mode, all you have to do is select the kettle mode. And like I mentioned, you can pick the right temperature to uh, take Ask any Thermomix user and they will say, hands down, Thermomix makes one of the best take It is so easy because you just have to brew the tea in here. And in less than 10, eight seconds, your teh tarik is perfect. Dengan the foam and the buoy, it is so, so good. And the best thing is you can control, you know, the, the sweetness that you want. So I really love the teh tarik from Thermomix. And besides that, you also have the um, auto heating of water in the mixing bowl. So you don't have to, you know, because not all um, water kettles has a selection where you can select what is the temperature that you desire. Okay, now the next thing, which is a really great favorite is slow cook mode. Now, previously when you cook on the stove, it's one, taking up a lot of gas because suddenly you may never know, especially now that you're staying home and cooking a lot, suddenly you're slow cooking your meat or your soup and then halfway, there's no gas. So the hassle of having to call the uh, person to deliver the gas, stop middle, halfway while you're cooking is just such a hassle. With the slow cook mode, however, it is so, so easy because you can even um, slow cook anything from braised duck, your red bean soup, your lamb shank. And the best thing is that you get the whole um, natural flavor of it. So it really, really tastes good. And you know, it, you don't lose the moisture in it. So it's not curing as much. Okay. Now, how many of you have made your own cheese and yogurt? Now, I'm sure you have seen, you know, that store-bought yogurts. They write there, yes, it's you know sugar free and all that, but actually, why does it taste sweet? Because there is some form of sugar in it and it is not good. So, what better way now with this 20 plus kitchen appliance in one, you can make your own cheese and your own yogurt. So, the constant temperature is supposedly from 37 to 70. 
So up to 12 hours, you can actually leave it on a fermentation mode. And you can also use the water temperature in the mixing bowl to create a warm environment to basically ferment the ingredients in the Varoma. So I'm sure most of you would like to try and make your own yogurt. How many of you who have the Thermomix and have made your own yogurt, they will say it's really, really good. So easy as well. I mean, we all always you know, buy from the shop thinking it's easier, but making your own yogurt is actually easier. So for those of you who have um, been to some restaurants where they ask you how you want your meat done, or even some fine dining restaurants, they actually have this thing called a sous vide machine. So the sous vide machine costs thousands of dollars. And right now you don't have to worry because you're getting it for free. It's built in in your thermomix already. Told you it's a smart kitchen appliance. 20 kitchen appliance in one smart machine. We don't have to be having so many machines all around right now. So you can achieve professional standard sous vide dishes. So what you can do is, more or less, it's similar to this. You can, um, they actually have a sous vide bag or you can use a good BPA-free resealable bag. You put your meat in here, you seal it up. Okay, and then you put it in water. So there's water in here. And then you put the whole bag uh, in the water. So that means your salmon is in here. And then you ziplock it, your salmon, your meat, whatever. And then you place it into the mixing bowl. Not to worry, it will not, um, it will not break. Because it's just uh, warming up the water. And that way, it actually cooks evenly because it's being soaked. So that's called the sous vide method. And when you do that method, and when you try and eat your meat, your salmon, your steak, um, once after you already blanched it, uh, so be it, stir it for one, uh, two, three minutes, and you will taste the juiciness of the steak. For those of you who love your meat, for those of you who love your salmon, this is one of the best ways to cook it. I have tried it. It's really, really uh, moist and tender as well. And of course, because you know, you're not cooking at a high temperature and it's cooked at the perfect temperature, the vitamins, the nutrients that you get in it is still in there. So even if you were to buy expensive meat, you don't have to worry because you know that you're cooking it the proper way. All right. So, wow, can you believe it? After all that talking, 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 you only have hardly 50 seconds left. So this is what I mentioned. It is very, for people who are looking for something that is fast, convenient, those who want to save time, you know, you're always busy, you're rushing and things like that. It, that's one of the main, um, you know, benefits of cooking with Thermomix. Basically, it's quick, easy, everyone can cook. Um, you have the auto cooking and the auto washing function. So, for example, now my bowl is going to be dirty with a bit left of the sauce. I just have to add in a bit of water and um, a few drops of dishwashing liquid and it will be done. And as you can see, I do not have a cooker put on top of me, so I don't have to worry about cooking fumes. Um, my clothes doesn't really smell. <laughs> I still look presentable if I need to go out. And that's one of the reasons why I love my clothes. And voila, it's done. <laughs> so, all I need to do is just click next. So as you can see, it's already said done. So what I'm going to do is while I garnish it, I will pass it on to my partner and I will see y'all in a while. Hi everyone, I'm back. Okay, so the cookies are ready. Look at that. It smells really nice. Okay, let me show you. It's like really nice and chewy inside, but crunchy on the outside. Okay, so you have to try this recipe. Okay, so what are the benefits of cooking with Thermomix? Okay, so if you see this now, how long it took me to make the cookies. Okay, just 30 plus 20 seconds just to mix the cookies. And if you try our signature lem lemonade, it takes six seconds to make your lemonade. So you can make uh, lemonade every morning or when people come over to your house, serve them lemonade, you know, serve them some smoothie, all you can make with your Thermomix. Okay, and everybody can cook because we have the cookie do function. So you have that guided cooking way. Even your kids can do it. Even your husband can help you cook. 
Okay, all you need to know, if you know how to read, you will know, you can use the cookie dough. Okay, and it's healthy. Okay, because when we cook, we cook at 120 degrees, which is considered low temperature cooking. So you get to preserve all the nutrients uh, from your food. Okay, so it's also important to buy good ingredients, but what's more important is to cook it the right way. Okay. And we have the auto, cook, uh, auto cooking that means it cooks for you. You don't have to attend to it. You can just put it inside and leave it. Okay, and we also have the auto washing mode. Okay, so I just did the pre-clean on my bowl just now. So you can choose. <laughs> okay, so you can choose whether you are making dough or you are cooking something universal like stir fry, or you can even choose if you're making uh, caramel or even browning. Okay, there are four settings if you want to use the pre-clean mode. Okay. Yes. All right, and then space saving. Okay, so instead of having so many appliances on your kitchen top, you only need one or two thermomics. Okay, so a lot of people say, why do I need two? Because it represents your stove. Okay, so usually we have two or three stoves. So start with one first, and if you love it, you can join our team and try to get your second one for free. Okay, and goodbye to cooking fuel. So when you cook at low temperature, you do not burn your oil, okay, and you don't get fumes from there. So you only get vapor when you cook. So you are not inhaling all these nasty things. Okay. So again, the price is 6988. Okay, if you pay one time full payment, you get an extra cookbook. Okay, and um, you can take the installment plan up to 24 months, which is 200, 291 per month for 24 months. Okay, so you can ask your advisor what are the cards that you can use for the installment plan. Okay, for full payment, you can do via bank transfer, credit card, or even debit card. Okay, so if you choose um, the one-time full payment, you can choose uh, one of the three cookbooks, which is Malay Kitchen, um, three-in-one, or easy meals. Okay, and um, right now, the current promo is when you buy your Thermomix and you invite 30 friends to come and watch our Zoom cooking show like this, like today. So every Saturday we have. So you have 30 days to bring three friends and you can claim this Thermo jug. Okay, so this is 750 ml size and it's still steel, so you can keep your sauces or your cream, okay, um, whatever sauce you have, cold or warm. Okay, so it's very nice, it's insulated. So you want to grab, you get two of this. I only have one, but you will get two of it. Okay, so you want to clean your jar. So this is the whole set. Uh, like Elena went through just now, you get all the accessories so that you can straight away cook. Okay, you don't need to buy anything extra. And you get the uh, basic cookbook as well. You can choose either English or Chinese. Okay, so let your advisors know. And this book is really awesome. It has so many recipes and at the back it has like guide on you know if you want to steam if you want to blend if you want to grind it will tell you what's the measurement and how long you need to blend or grind or steam for okay and we also do this cooking class every saturday and we do free delivery all over malaysia okay so if you have fam friends or families in sabah or sarawak we even send it there for free Okay, and um, you get unboxing service. Right now, we cannot go to your house, so we'll do a Zoom unboxing service, or we can even do a one-to-one -one WhatsApp video call. Okay, and um, advisor support is the, all the advisors that uh, invited you today. So you can look for them anytime, okay, if you need any help. And we also offer two-year warranty against manufacturing defects. Okay, and if you want to join us and get your second one for free, do let us know, okay, uh, this, um, career is really uh, wonderful. I've been doing this for almost two years and I really, really love it. All right, so who would you recommend this Thermomix to? So if you have friends who you know who always order out or, or you know, uh, order the food deliveries and they spend so much money on them every month, so why not you spend on good ingredients and you cook yourself because it's so easy to cook. Okay, and people who cannot cook, okay, now you have no excuse because we have the guided cooking. It will guide you step by step from A to Z. Or if you know friends who have kids, you know, of course, we want to try our best to give home cooked food to our kids. And even if you have babies who just start eating, okay, and kids, we have plenty of cookie dough recipes for you to choose from. Okay, all you need to do is just uh, search for collection for kids or babies and you'll get thousands of recipes. All right, so you will never run out of ideas what to cook for your kids. Okay, and people who love to cook, 
okay, but they don't have enough time for themselves. Okay, the whole day they are in the kitchen. Okay, so you can still adapt your own recipe here, but in the beginning, we suggest that you follow cookie dough um, recipes so that you get used to the function. And then you can start adapting your own recipes in here. Okay, but what's good is you can put it in and you have time to leave. You can leave it and have time to be with your kids or you can prepare the next ingredient or go wash um, you know, all the dishes. So you have more time to yourself in the end. All right, so um, yep, that's it. So before we end, I'm just going to go around and let everyone show their dishes. Okay, so this is mine. Make sure you try this really nice um, white chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so let's go to Elena. I can see she's really ready. All right, see you guys next week. Okay, yeah, let's go to Elena. Hi, okay. Hi. Like a long time ago, really. <laughs> All right, so there was one step where I put uh, water in. It smells really good. Oh my goodness. Kalau malam malam, like it's cold, you know, it's fantastic to have it. Okay. So I poured in two mugs already. And like, as we said right now, we have this awesome thermo jug. So I'm going to pour some in here. Okay. Look at that. Very hearty. My goodness. Banyak lagi tu to have this. Okay. So we have some in here. Let me bring the result closer to you. It smells really good. Like what they say, chicken soup for the soul. Okay, look at that. It's really good. Okay. Eat it with baguette. You can make your own baguette as well using thermal mix. Okay. So do try this. Very simple. It's about um about 16 minutes the whole recipe and you just i did just now plonk everything in and you just walk away okay so you use your thermo jug which comes free with these periods um with uh, the, the current promotion so you get two of these like as been said one for me here okay so enjoy off to the next uh, presenter Yes, everyone, hope you have enjoyed our show today. Do try out our recipes and get in touch with your advisors to put in your orders. For those of you who don't already have a Thermomix, now is a good time to get one, okay? Cheers, on to IU. All right. Um, as you can see right now, what I'm doing is, it's called a three clean function. So I've added the water in and a few drops of dishwashing liquid. So it's actually cleaning for me. My chicken is already done. Look at how pretty it is. Done in 15 minutes. It's a really great meal. So I've got the rice ready, um, the chicken ready. I'm ready to have my lunch, basically. So I hope you all enjoy our cooking show today. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. And I think we are done. So thank you once again, uh, over to the next. Bye everyone. Bye.